the, this is what comes in the package. Flip sections over right here, here, here. Welcome to Tesla Life. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the video with your friends. And I would appreciate it if you press that little like button. Hey, got something new. Let's uh, check it out. I think these are mud guards. Model 3 mud guards. Have never seen them before. Let's see what we've got in the box here. So I guess uh, some are rear, some are um, front, a bunch of screws, mounting uh, pieces. Uh, no, oops, instructions. So let's check it out. Take a snapshot of this. So this is what comes in the package. So when you turn them over, it has the indicator on whether they are the uh, rear or front mud guards. So we should be able to figure them out. And uh, looks like uh, these two are the front and these two are the rear. So uh, these are the parts. You get some uh, new screws, and then uh, these are uh, um, the clips. And it looks like you can put this into the hole, and then this goes in and uh, can clip the uh, clip sections, which are here, 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 on the front mud guards, and here and here. Use the clips there, and then we use the screws here and here on the rear and the screws up here on the uh, front mud guards. So uh, let's go out and give it a try. So here's what the wheel wells look like before the mud guards. I assume they're gonna fit on right in here. <clears throat> and the back ones, again, this is before. We'll see how they look after. So they said to move the wheel <clears throat> so you have better access and I can see two uh, mount spots there. Maybe something here. Let's see how it fits. So here's the front mud guard. It's going to slip on like that. It'll look like this. And uh, there's two screws, I guess, there that, that that's going to go into. And then I guess we're going to put a screw in through the plastic here. Uh, for this top spot. So with just a screwdriver, I pried this off. It's a clip that comes out here. Looks like there's another clip there that we'll take out. But this is the old clip, which sort of mimics uh, the clips that came with the um, kit. So you have to uh, pop out with just a screwdriver the center piece first and then you can pry out the whole thing like that. If you try to pry out the whole thing, it won't come out unless you pull that top piece out first. So I got the other clip out, just pops right out. Just put a screwdriver in and pry it. It'll pop right out pretty easily. So then this can go here, put two clips in there, then I guess a screw here. I assume this is how we do it. We'll put two uh, new, these are the new clips. Put the base piece in first. 
and then I assume we put this on top and then push this piece here through to uh, hold it. So just pushed uh, the other piece in and it seemed to hold. Let's put this other one in. I'll show you this time. So this is the clip. Just push and push and it snaps and does secure it. So I guess we're gonna just put a screw in here, this hole here, and uh, that'll tighten up pretty tight with this regular screw. So I just push the screw in a little bit to get started and then just uh, pushed, put some pressure as I screwed in this screw and it seems to be catching. And voila, just took a few seconds. And that is the new mud guard right there. Looks pretty nice actually. So two clips down here and then just a screw in here went in through the plastic uh, pretty easily. Just had to press a little firm as I was screwing in and uh, tightened up really nice. Let's try the back ones. So here's the back one. It just slips right in here. Let's see. Slips in like that. Looks like this top piece is just going to clip in to catch the metal. So we're going to have to try to figure out how that clips in there. And then uh, there's a hole here and a hole there. So there must be something underneath. Yep, I can feel a screw underneath there. Let's take a peek. Yep, looks like we got to take this bolt out and then mount into there. And I suspect this clip's going to come out right here and put in a new clip. So I got my ratchet set out. Looks like we are using a, what size, 10 millimeter uh, ratchet here get at uh, to take this this bolt out here <clears throat> so I had to take this clip off uh, the trick with this is you got to first pry out this piece so it pops out like that and then you can pry out the bottom piece so you can't um, pry out the bottom piece without first popping out this top piece. So you pr uh, pry out the center section and then you can pop out this, the, uh, the total thing. Here's the bolt that uh, we unscrewed from the bottom. So we're going to simply slip this on and again I have to find some way to clip this piece underneath there first. So you want to put this, the new one in there first, and then I found if you uh, just pry this, uh, it's very, the plastic uh, flexes pretty easily, just pry it and, it, and you'll be able to catch uh, the trim here so it hooks on there. So let me see if I can show you, see how it, it hooks in there. And then all we've got to do is put the uh, bolt in here and put the other piece of the clip in uh, here. So we should be able to put this in pretty easily. If it's aligned, just push. Clips in pretty easily. Nice. And let's just put the bolt back on underneath. So the bolt just goes in here to hold from the bottom. We'll ratchet it in. I don't need to make this super tight, just a little hand tight. And there we go. Pretty easy. That one's a little trickier. Not too bad. So I'm on the uh, right front, and um, I noticed that uh, when I put this on, I put the clips on, and then I tried to put the screw in and tighten it, but it was um, there was too much play in this plastic, and I couldn't get it, the screw to start. So I pulled this off. I was a, it was able to make a mark on the plastic, but I just didn't have enough pr pressure. This wasn't firm enough to put the screw through because you're just putting the screw through some plastic. So I took this off, saw where the hole was or the, where the hole was going to be, 
and then I was able to just, without this on, start the screw. Then I pulled the screw out, put this back on, and then I was able to get the screw to catch. So um, on the left front, I didn't have to do that. I think this is was f more firm uh, to just push the screw in through the plastic. Uh, it's a uh, wood screw, so it goes right in through the plastic and it's just uh, sc screwed into the plastic. I don't think you want to drill it uh, to uh, create the hole. You just need to uh, be able to pressure it into through the, through the plastic. Okay, everybody. So we're all done. Got uh, all four put on. There's the uh, right front look The uh, with the two. We got the rear mudguard there and the front mudguard there. I like the black. Matches the tires and everything. See how it looks from there. From that angle. And from this angle. Take off this little label here. <clears throat> and we're done. Pretty cool. A little heads up. You do get a lot of extra pieces in the kit. Uh, you really only need to use two of the screws for the two front. Then you have two clips here, two clips there, one clip for each of the back, so six clips. And then there's a bolt here, not a screw, that uh, you're just uh, reusing on the, uh, you're reusing a bolt on the back, um, not uh, one of the screws. So you're left with a lot of extra pieces, uh, just so you know. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, got mud guards uh, on my Model 3. I definitely give this a thumbs up. Uh, I think it'll definitely help uh, keep the bottom of the car uh, cleaner. So uh, they look great, very relatively easy to install. Needed a screwdriver, both a Phillips and a uh, flat screwdriver, a flat screwdriver to pop up, pop off the old clips, and a uh, regular screwdriver here for this one screw, and then. The ratchet looks like it's, uh, I think it was 10 millimeters. Let me just double check. It is, yeah, it looks like 10 millimeter ratchet to get that bolt off. You could probably use pliers too, if you wanted to, to uh, take that uh, bolt off that mounts down here on the rear. Thanks everyone. Bye-bye. Here's the Amazon page for these mud guards. Uh, I'll put the, uh, Amazon Associates link in the description below. Please click on that and that way you can help support my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks everyone. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe on the top left and share the video with your friends. My other Model 3 videos are here in the middle. If you want 1,000 miles of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom. My Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter accounts are on the right. And check out my new channel, Pickleball is Life. It's a great game and subscribe on the bottom left. Take care.